All right, in this morning's house call, more people than ever are having MRI scans. They can be lifesavers diagnostically, but when used improperly, the results can be dangerous and in some cases even fatal. Today, the FDA is holding a workshop on preventing MRI accidents. Senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen is in Atlanta this morning to explain what kind of mistakes these are and how they happen. I, I, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm claustrophobic, so <laughs> I'm scared of MRIs to start with, but I, I didn't think anything can really go wrong in them. I know. I think a lot of people don't realize that, Allie. You know, your doctor tells you to get an MRI. You show up. You lie down. You're done. You, you, you don't really think about the fact that accidents do happen. Now, as you said, MRIs are really a terrific technology, and the vast majority of the time things go well, but sometimes things go wrong. And the reason that they often go wrong is because the M in MRI stands for magnetic. MRI machines have these huge magnets and they attract any metal in the room which is why there's not supposed to be any metal in the room so what happens is if there is metal in the room you can see that if someone brings in like an oxygen canister even across the room it will fly into the machine and some researchers did this as a demo to show what can happen imagine if instead of a watermelon that was a person that would be terrible so as I said, the magnet in these machines can be very, very strong and can attract um, any metal in the room. And so there's some concerns that technicians aren't being as careful as they should be about making sure there's not only no metal in the room, but no metal in your body either, wow. like a stent or an aneurysm clip. I, I, I'm assuming there are rules uh, that are already in place that generally prevent these things from happening. So what are you supposed to do if you're, you're scheduled for an MRI? What do I do to make sure? Do I have to ask the technician whether they're checking that there's no metal? Mm -hmm. Well, it, uh, uh, let me answer that. First, I want to explain what these photos are. These are some photos from a website, uh, MRI Metal Detector Blog, that show you what, hap what can happen. These are metal objects like beds and chairs that show you that they can be attracted to that magnet, which would have devastating re uh, results for the person in there. So there are rules about what can happen in an MRI suite, but unfortunately, they really vary state to state, and experts tell us that some states really do very little if anything to regulate what happens and the technicians really are the ones in charge and we're told the technicians get less training than beauticians huh. wow okay oh. this is interesting I, I i this is entirely new i'm glad you were here to uh tell us about it elizabeth cohen our senior medical correspondent i Thanks. recently did a shoot at duke university in an mra suite and i have to tell you we went through uh, maybe 45 minutes of paperwork and double checking and triple checking and they made sure everything we brought in we actually brought out and they were very very careful about mm -hmm. it for this very reason. They didn't want us coming in there with all this, you know, you know, gear that yeah, could eventually no, cause a problem. problem. And so, I mean, I was actually impressed by how they were. It, plus, it ruins their machine, which costs a lot of money, right, too. Right, right. At the bottom line there. <laughs> I'm just saying. No. no. Oh, that's just scary. I, I hope I never needed MRI.